Right, let me invite you, Sheila. If you're able to come, I would love to speak to you and hear what the Lord Jesus had done for you. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi, can you hear me? How are you? I can hear you loud and clear. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I was just uh, scrolling on TikTok and I found your live and I was like, oh, wow. I love this. So mm. I immediately joined and I, I was just feeling inspired and uh, I just want to say thank you for preaching the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Sheila, I am nothing but a servant, as they say, and I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Mm. I'm just a servant. I'm not much. I'm not even Jesus. I can't help anyone, mm. but, you mm. know, I genuinely believe that this is a space where we can engage with people proclaim the good news about Jesus and have honest conversations. Yeah, exactly. So if not exactly. us, then the rocks will cry out. Yeah, indeed, indeed. And I love how you, uh, put, you are pointing to Jesus because at the end mm. of the day, all the glory to him. You know, and uh, not yes. to us, not to, we are mm -hmm. just uh, uh, servants, you know, as, like Paul said, he was a born servant, you know, of Jesus Christ. And we are just a servant and the glory to Jesus, you know, because sometimes Amen. I think we can get taken away by what God is doing in our lives and we forget the bigger picture, which is Jesus. And we just take Sheila, all the this praises. Is exactly that. I yeah. think you got it right, and I love that we are from the same spirit, because I love that when you read the letters of Paul and, and Peter, and they were mm -hmm. great men of God, they, they did great things, but when mm -hmm. you see how always they were starting the letters by saying, I'm a slave of Jesus Christ, of I'm a Jesus. servant exactly. of Jesus Christ, and then exactly. they would say, I'm, I'm an apostle. So I do not yes. say that I'm not good at anything. Obviously, there are things that I'm good at, but I do not yes. start by saying, look at me, I'm a Christian, exactly. look at me, I'm, I'm this and that. Yeah. I say, no, look to Jesus yeah. first, because Jesus. Sheila, when, yes. You, yes. when you go to bed and mm. you close your eyes and you need God, it's not me mm. who will be with you, it's the Holy That's Spirit true. who will remind you the words of Jesus. So we need to That's preach true. Him, not ourselves. Indeed. Indeed, that's true. We need to preach him and people have an experience with him, you know. Yeah. And it's okay if the person does not remember even how you looked, but they remember that they encountered Jesus Christ in that time when you were speaking, you know. This is my heart and God, God knows my heart, so I'm not going to justify myself, but this is exactly Hallelujah. why I'm here too. Even as the channel is called Sowing Kingdom Seeds, as I think yes. it was Apostle Paul who said, one is sowing, another mm. watering, but God another is growing. Exactly, exactly. So I'm wow. not fooling myself that I can give growth to anyone because I cannot, yeah. but yeah. I can yeah. sow. Yeah. In fact, I have to. But anyway, yeah. Sheila, so you're a Christian. So, I can sense that yeah, we are from Christian. the same spirit. We love the Lord yeah. Jesus. I see that we the do. Holy Spirit just revealed so much truth to you. Would you like to yes. share with us in a few words? or in many words, yes, what can. the Lord Jesus <laughs> had done for me. Yes, I can. I mean, I love talking about God. I, this is uh, the one thing that any at any time I'm given the opportunity to talk about him. I love talking about him because he's, uh, he's the best thing in my life. And uh, talking about him, I just feel the warmth in my heart. And I am always like up to sharing what uh, Jesus has done in my life. So love maybe I, I will just briefly tell you uh, my story. I am um, from Uganda, actually, originally, uh, I but mean. I live in, uh, yeah, but now I live in Hungary, and um, I'm working here, I came uh, as an intern, and now I'm just working normal work in IT. Uh, so in Uganda, I, I mean, I lived all my life in Uganda, uh, school and everything, so when I was eight years old, um, I was raised in a Christian home. My parents were Christians, even though my mother gave her life to Jesus while uh, a bit 
later than my father my father was the first and my mom gave her life to jesus like a bit later but i was still young so they started taking us to church and all and i, I in that time i still i felt like okay yeah it's a good thing i'm excited to go to church and you know also excited that i'm gonna wear my pretty dress and all this stuff you know <laughs> because, <laughs> and i i was i mean i appreciate i appreciate that i was raised this way however in that time i feel like i didn't exactly understand that uh, salvation is personal you know i was looking at everything that comes with it wearing a cute dress going and meeting other kids and listening to these beautiful bible mm. stories and playing but i was like not exactly focusing on on the fact that yes jesus died for me you know and wow. i am to pursue him so at eight years old one day i was at home i have many siblings maybe <laughs> even cousins and stuff like that so we grew up as a big family so i was eight and i was asking my older siblings where is mom and they said that um well mom has gone to give her life to to jesus uh, and i was like what how could she leave me? I want to give my life to Christ. How could she go without me? And I oh, was no, crying mommy. and crying. Mom is going to be taken <laughs> by uh, someone else. And I know that it's real, isn't it? Yeah. Because yes. a child wants the mother's love and attention. And if yes. someone is taking the child to it. Exactly. It's a real thought you know? for a child, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm, yeah. and I'm thinking, she left me. I, I also want to give my life to Jesus Christ. How could she leave me? you know and I was like causing tantrums and going back and forth and crying and I believe this is because there was something that God was God drawing because the Bible says they can't come unless he draws them so I believe God was drawing me you know uh, even though I was still like young and not thinking much I believe there's a reason I felt this way so my mom and dad organized and um, the, the next weekend they brought like the uh, the person who was the reverend and they led me through prayers they led me mm. through the confession prayer and i gave my life to jesus christ at wow. eight years old Love that. and uh, yeah and i started going for fellowships you know like uh, not just sunday services but uh, some uh, fellowships that uh, you know people were having outside church and i would go with my mom i remember i would sit and they're only like big people and they would be talking uh, about the bible and discussing god and i could pick out what i can pick out the rest if i don't mm -hmm. understand i would say well <laughs> you know so I then I grew up fast forward to university. I am kind of like drifting away because I'm in uh, university having all these things around. I'm doing, uh, I was doing uh, software engineering and uh, in my first year, second year, studying hard third year, people are like, yeah, life now, you have to live life, go to the parties and go to the world. And I'm like, oh, okay, I mean, okay, let's try it. And I went to start going yeah. to the parties, going, you know, every crazy thing, every weekend and then come back to school and I was like kind of drifting away you know and then one of the days my friend uh, invited me for a certain fellowship she told me hey could you want to come for this fellowship there's a there's a man of God in town that uh, is starting a fellowship in 2014 that was 2014 starting a fellowship in August you want to come I said okay I'll see I'll see I'll see and I kept pushing it forward until one day I wow. was fasting for no reason. I don't know why I was fasting, but my friend invited me again. And I went to the fellowship and for the first time I felt in that sermon, the word of God literally opened up to me. And it mm. felt, you know, when we say the word of God is living, I felt yes, the yes. very life in it. And I was like, wow. where was I all these years? Where was I? And I was crying. I was crying. I was like, I felt the love of God. And I was like, oh my God, you love me so much. Even when I had gone away from you, you love me. And I felt his grace upon my life. And I, I just, it was like an experience, you know, I encountered him and I started, yeah, again, pursuing God, you know, I say pursuing God again and each and every day 